This time on STV, we're here in Eagle River, Wisconsin for the World Championship Snowmobile Derby. Stick around because we're going to drop the green flag on this show right after this. STV is brought to you by Yamaha, revs your heart. Ultimax belts, performance driven, performance proven. And by Polaris, think outside. Ultimax Belts has been a partner of STV for a number of seasons now, and when they invited us along to hang with them here at the Eagle River Derby, I jumped at the chance. I've never been to this race before and always wanted to come, but it's never worked out until now. Eagle River is known as the snowmobile capital of the world, and it's also home to the World Championship Derby Complex, where the legendary Eagle River Ice Oval Derby is held. Beginning in 1964, this year is the 60th anniversary of this event that has become Snowmobiling's Indianapolis 500. With such a spectacular venue, and because Ultimax is a sponsor of this event, they've chosen the Derby here at Eagle River to host a VIP ride for some of their most important Timken clients. This experience will not only include trips to the racetrack for the opening ceremonies on Friday night and the championship race on Sunday, but also to ride. This week we're in Eagle River to celebrate and support the uh, World Championship Snowmobile Derby. Uh, it's the 60th uh, anniversary of this championship race. So the guests we brought here to Eagle River are key partners with us uh, for Timken Industrial Belts as well as Ultimax Belts products. Uh, we have uh, a variety of customers here uh, this week with us. We have some customers that are uh, in with us uh, that support us on the industrial products and the industrial belts. Uh, they support us uh, within their industries in forestry, wood, um, as well as material handling. And then we also have some customers here this week uh, that are key distributors with our Power Sports belts, Ultimax belts. Key activities we're hitting with this event is really to attend the race. Uh, we, we start off by being involved with the grand opening ceremonies uh, on the ice, uh, you know, supporting the track um, and the World Championship Snowmobile Derby. Um, we also plan uh, a number of events um, in addition to that. So we end up heading out to upstate um, Wisconsin to the, to the Michigan border. Uh, lots of trail riding as well as uh, you know dinners and um, hosting them in our accommodations. The customers we brought here to Eagle River really are more passionate uh, brand ambassadors. We have a common belief. We believe in that the customer is really the best voice. So when you're passionate about something and you want to deliver a, a message to someone, it's hard to just put it on a on a, on a, on a, on a flyer, on a website, on a page. But really it's about the experience. It's making sure people understand what we design, why we design it, is really to extend your fun, to extend the brand promise that we deliver to you.
In the past, I had the chance to travel to the Timken plant in Springfield, Missouri, where the Ultimax line of belts are produced, along with a bunch of other belts for industrial and agricultural applications. Now this factory was built in 1959, and even though it's changed ownership over the years a couple of times, it has always been a belt manufacturing facility, which means this place built some of the very first CVT belts used in a snowmobile application, and some of the machines used to build belts back then that can be found on early Bombardier or Polaris sleds are still being used in the production process to build belts for sleds today. Of course, the raw materials have been vastly improved, and the technology that is now found in the rubber is much more durable than in the belts of the past, along with the addition of components like aramid cord over polyester makes modern belts that are far more capable than the old ones. Snowmobiling is more than an industry to exploit for Timken, the power behind Ultimax. Helping to develop new products, as well as keeping an eye on constant improvement, there are enthusiasts behind this brand who ride and understand us snowmobilers which is just one of the reasons they have chosen this race to support financially with sponsorship dollars, but to also bring people to experience the thrills of the Oval and to spend time riding the trails around Eagle River. Yeah, the snowmobile culture at Ultimax Belt is huge. I mean, we're all motorsport guys. Timken Canada has two snowmobiles. We spend an awful lot of time entertaining our customers by taking them out riding. We ride throughout Ontario, Quebec, into the United States. One of the reasons why we chose Eagle River was really we spent an awful lot of time of inviting people that are not just good VIPs and supporters of Timken, but some of those that have really never been exposed to snowmobiling before and those that have. So they get an opportunity, those that have never been exposed to snowmobiling, sort of get the bug in terms of snowmobiling and winter activities. And those that are heavily involved in the sport to be able to really experience what I believe is bucket list trails and uh, experiences here at Wisconsin. Coming up after the break, we're hitting some of the trails here around Eagle River, Wisconsin. This segment is brought to you by Kane's Quest. Eagle River is known as the snowmobile capital of the world, so we're gonna take some time away from the Derby to experience the trails of the Snow Eagles. Personally, I've never experienced riding in this part of Wisconsin, which I think is actually pronounced Wisconsin. Anyways, it's always enjoyable to ride in new places and Eagle River didn't disappoint. I'm not exactly sure what I was expecting here, but whatever it was, the trail system was way better than I predicted. The ride here is a little different than what I'm used to, mainly to do with how the signage is organized, but there are regular trail map boards along the way, helping to keep you going in the right direction, and there seem to be so many more places to stop at along the way for a warm up or a meal. The trails themselves I would rate above a five on the tight and twisty scale, and despite less than perfect snow conditions, they were in exceptional shape. Sure, there was the odd bumpy or icy section, but it was derby weekend after all, and I can't remember when I've seen so many sleds out on the trails, machines that range from the new stuff back to greasy old triples and then everything in between out enjoying this weekend. Now I'm sure some of this traffic was because of the race, but talking with folks along the way, they said it was actually pretty typical of a winter weekend. Now it was awesome to see this level of activity out enjoying the trails in the area. Eagle River is also home to the World Snowmobile Headquarters, where we ran into Rusty Wolf, a past president of the Snow Eagles. The riding experience in northern Wisconsin, you're going through the woods, you're, you're driving much slower, you're, you're 20 miles an hour or 25 miles an hour, 
and you see a lot of scenery. You're deep in the woods, there's animals and birds. You get to see a lot of things. In, in the past 10 years, I've seen deer, uh, wolves, uh, fox, squirrel, quail, just a lot of wildlife out here in the woods when you're out riding. And, uh, but it's not fast riding, it, it, it's scenic. I like the riding here in Northern Wisconsin. Our club here in Eagle River is the Snow Eagle Snowmobile Club. We're the third largest club in the state. We have just over 500 members. We have three groomers. Uh, there are three piston bullies pulling, pulling drags and we groom about 90 miles of trails. Rusty can often be found here at the museum, so if your ride takes you through town, make sure to stop in. You won't be wasting your time. I don't know why anybody would want to find me, but I work here uh, and help at the uh, Snowville um, Museum uh, year-round. So uh, we just have a good time talking about snowmobiles, the old days of snowmobiling, and people like you that come in for a visit. Meeting people like Rusty and getting to experience new things like the museum at the world headquarters of snowmobiling make trips to new areas so much fun. Getting out of your backyard, out of your comfort zone to snowmobile in places like Eagle River, Wisconsin, I'm sorry, Wisconsin, create memories that will last a lifetime. Places like this remind me why I love the adventure a snowmobile will take you to. Coming up after the break, it'll be time to throw the green flag out on the track. This segment is brought to you by Yamaha. This is the 60th running of the World Championship Snowmobile Derby here in Eagle River. This is the big one in ice oval racing and a win here puts you along snowmobiles racing royalty. On the wall of past champions in the museum, you can find names like the late Gilles Villeneuve, who went on to drive in Formula One. Then, of course, his younger brother Jacques Villeneuve, who won this title on multiple occasions. Yvon Duhamel and fellow Canadian Motorsport Hall of Famer Gary Vassar are also on this wall, along with other legends of ice oval racing like Bobby Donahue and Dave Wall. Getting your name on this trophy is something very special, and here at the complex you feel the history. And that's because the track has remained largely intact the way it was back in the day, and it's definitely a defining feature of the Eagle River experience. Eagle River, from what I read in the history books uh, at the Historical Museum here in town, uh, Eagle River back in the, after World War II, in the 50s and early 60s, uh, their schools actually closed down. And so did the supermarkets because there weren't very many stores, but they closed down. Nobody lived up here, very few, and there was no industry or economy in the wintertime. So uh, they'd go back to Illinois or Southern Wisconsin or wherever they're from, and the kids had finished school there. So. In 1964, when the snowmobile came to Eagle River, uh, and we had the races since 1964 every year, now you have a booming economy in the north woods of Wisconsin, and uh, that's really something. Now there's an economy, and, and, and the snowmobiling has done that for the north woods. The snowmobile derby started in 64, 1964 on a lake and they had a couple of snowmobilers bring their sleds in 1964, and they thought they would have 20 or 30 local people come and watch the snowmobile, this new ice machine, and uh, they had 2,000 people show up. And everybody ran out of food, and there weren't hotels back then, and I can't imagine being in a tent when it's 10 below zero, but whatever. Uh, but now the Derby uh, is, one of 
three big snowmobile races they held during the year. And uh, Eagle River is a city of 1,400 people, and we generally have nine to 12,000 spectators. So it is just, the economy is just blowing up. All the hotels are filled. Uh, people that rent out the homes, they're all filled. The restaurants are full. <laughs> we need more help. <laughs>
you know, cafes as well as the, the town of Eagle River. Um, and, you know, we, we enjoy setting up a, a family environment, uh, having all the dinners together, riding together, uh, going in and out of, uh, of town together and enjoying the races as well. The Timken brand goes well beyond uh, Altamax. It goes into many different industries. Uh, we are passionate uh, about trying to solve problems. We're passionate about trying to make sure people realize that we're not here to just be here for the moment, solve one problem, and move on. We're here to really be a legacy within an industry. We're here to make sure that whether we're building bearings for airplanes, building bearings for rockets, building belts for a general industrial application, that we're here to solve a problem. We're here to make sure that we we create a solution, but we're also we're trying to listen to the customer to make sure that we deliver on that brand promise. We would love to do events like this, really to show our customers that not only are we passionate about the sport, we're passionate about the product. It's really more about us delivering an experience to a customer. So we believe that we are, we at the core of Timken, we are an engineering company but also we're trying to make sure that people realize that they're not going to give up their fun at the same time. So we're selling, we're here to make sure people understand that you are building on a brand that believes in an engineering, but you're also building on a brand that is not gonna disrupt your weekend. We want you to go have fun. We had a great weekend. We got to town Thursday and had three more days of racing, riding and fun with new friends. Now this type of adventure can only happen if you're a snowmobiler, which is the great thing about being a snowmobiler. So if you want an adventure like this, start planning now for next year's 61st running of the Eagle River Derby. I know I am. We'll see you next time on Snowmobiler Television. Closed captioning is brought to you by Polaris. STV has been brought to you by CKX, where your passion. Best Western Hotels and Resorts, ready to get away. And by On Snow Magazine, for snowmobilers, from snowmobilers.